Welcome back to Real Cat Media, where you get your information for your animation. Today's video, we're going over how you can animate steam from a coffee cup. I'm going to be doing frame by frame within Procreate Dreams at 24 frames per second. I uploaded some uh, basic imagery, so the chair and background are all in one layer. This was for one of my latest animations called The First, and it's a story of an elderly gentleman who recently lost his wife. It's her birthday, and it says his first birthday alone. And it's about his journey and memories towards that, as well as the surprise ending. Get yourself a cup of coffee, sit down with your drawing tablet, observe the steam, and then draw what you see. So in today's video, we're going to be doing frame by frame. I'm going to go ahead and go to that bottom layer and insert a new track. And it's very simple to do this. You're basically going to zoom in to where you want to be. And I'm going to start drawing. You can animate single frames within this animation. I'm going to choose my brush. A lot of the times for like steam and stuff like that, a lot of the watercolor brushes work really, really well for that because it's, it's more of a paint and you want kind of more of this mist look. So I can give you an example of what that might look like. So this is like a hard brush. You get these very sharp lines and you can make it look that that's the look you're going for. But in my animation, I'm going for like a little bit of this painted look to it. I'm going to grab my brush. I think paint brushes are over here. I'm drawing. So this one here. So this kind of, you see how the edges aren't quite perfect. You use a little bit of pre less pressure. It's going to be kind of faded, more pressure, and it's going to get this thick. So it's going to get this kind of smoky look to it. So in the first frame, I'm going to start out with the coffee. It's kind of, oops, it's coming out of the cup here. You maybe have the remnants of the last one, and then you have a little more steam off here. The next frame, I love onion skinning because for frame by frame, you can kind of be like, well, it's traveling upward, so this is going to come up a little more. This one's going to fade away, so it's going to be a little bit like less pressure and a little bit of a dot. And then you're probably going to have a little bit more steam just coming off the bottom of the cup. This one's also going to raise up a little bit. And then if I wanted to, I could go and start a little steam here and then kind of bring it up. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're just going to be coming up like that. And so the next frame in here... I'm going to bring my onion skinning down just a little bit because I only want to see about one frame in between. So I want to see the previous frame so I know what I'm doing next. I can bring the opacity up a little bit to give me more of a reference and then change the color to say blue. And this has disappeared. This is still kind of rising up in the air, still keeping a strength. I'm going to come with a little more strength down below. This is starting to disappear. Right, I can make a little piece kind of breaking off here if I wanted Right, so I'm going to have this kind of steam look to it. And you want about five frames to make it look kind of somewhat natural. This is going to come up. This is going to start to break as it as it dissipates a little bit. And it's going to become less. Right, that's not going to be there. You're going to have this kind of thick one coming off the coffee cup. So that's thicker. This one's also disappearing again. So I'm going to put them kind of somewhere in the middle of the last one. And then a big chunk of steam here. A lot of animation comes just from observing normal life you see how this one here when you go back and forth it almost looks like it's staying in the same spot i don't really want that so i'm going to back up a little bit so if that's kind of the third spot this is going to disappear up here that can still kind of be growing right so if you flip through it's going to work now if you're like man this is way too fast for me you can go back and you can change your frame rate and properties down to i could bring it back down to say like 10 because 10 is pretty that's pretty slow, so you get an idea of how it looks. Now, you want it to be on a good loop. So when you come up to here, you kind of want it to match up with whatever's here, and that's not always easy to do. So if I deleted that last frame, you could technically just do four frames. What I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to copy this, and this is just a trick. I'm going to paste this in front of the frame that I'm going to be animating, and I'll show you why. When you go into your onion skinning and you have your edits, you have the forward. I'm going to bring the forward up. Not only do I have the previous one, which I can bring a little bit down, but I also have the one in front of it. If I see that there's like a piece missing here, I'm going to go back to this first frame because I just want this to loop. I'm going to go back to this first frame and I'm just going to add a little bit up top. So it looks like it's just going to dissipate at the top of this. I want to get rid of this frame. And what I did just there is I just held it down and hit clear frame. And I'm going to come back out here. And I'm going to watch that animation to see if it loops right. 
Don't don't worry about if it's not directly on center because you're going to come in and you're going to fix this anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group all of these inside here. Hold it down, group it. If you watch any of my videos, that's pretty simple to do. And if you're worried about it not being at center, you come out of here, you tap the screen for that in particular part and you just move it over. So now that we have this on a loop, all we particularly need to do is fix the frame rate. And I do 24 frames per second. I'm going to animate on twos. And if you watched any of my other videos, you know that animating is two on twos is just holding that for one extra frame. What that allows you to do is that allows you, if you're animating more than one character, more than one thing within the shot, it allows you to animate them on different frame rates and it gives you a bit more of an anime feel. So you can animate on twos and threes and then, you know, your character, their weight will shift around a little bit. And you can find that in this video over here, which talks about the basics of animation and Procreate Dreams and all you need to know from creating a project to frame by frame to doing a walk cycle. 24 frames per second. It's a little fast. I'm actually going to slow it down a little bit more because I don't I don't really like that. I want this to be like this slow. The shot itself is kind of this slow moving morning. Go ahead and click the video up here. It's a slow moving morning. And so I kind of want this to lazily be coming out of the cut. So this is animating on threes, not twos. And you say, well, I got all this blank space. It's, it's really, really simple. I'm just gonna duplicate this several times to fill that empty space, right? And for whatever reason that didn't carry all the way to the end, I'm gonna fix that. And if we click four fingers on the screen, you go into preview mode and there you have your steam coming off your cup. As always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I love having you around. I love the feedback I get from you and we will see you next time.